Astronomers have just discovered a mysterious new world lurking in the far reaches of our solar system, well beyond the orbit of Pluto. Named 2017 OF201, this icy object is now one of the most distant bodies ever detected. Its orbit is enormous, stretching more than 1,600 times farther from the Sun than Earth, and it takes a staggering 25,000 years to complete just one trip around the Sun. But what truly makes this discovery exciting isn't just how far away it is, it's what it might disprove. For years, scientists have been searching for an unseen giant planet, often referred to as Planet 9, that is believed to be shaping the orbits of distant objects. However, this newly discovered world doesn't behave as the Planet 9 theory predicted. Its orbit is oddly unaligned compared to other distant objects, suggesting that the strange clustering astronomers once used as evidence for Planet 9 might have been a coincidence after all. So how did astronomers manage to spot something so far away after all this time? What makes OF201 so unusual? And what does it reveal about the unexplored regions beyond Neptune? Before we dive into the discovery of OF201, let's first understand what a dwarf planet actually is. In simple terms, a dwarf planet is a small, round world that orbits the Sun, just like regular planets, but doesn't have enough gravity to clear its neighborhood of other space rocks. In other words, it shares its orbit with lots of debris. The famous example is Pluto, which was considered the ninth planet in our solar system until 2006, when it was reclassified as a dwarf planet. So far, the International Astronomical Union, IAU, has officially recognized five dwarf planets, Ceres, Pluto, Haumea, Makemake, and Eris. Ceres is the only one located in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. The rest lie far beyond Neptune in a distant region known as the Kuiper Belt. All five are large enough to be nearly spherical in shape, but none are big enough to dominate their orbits. Interestingly, scientists believe these five are just the tip of the iceberg. According to IAU estimates, there could be hundreds of more dwarf planets still waiting to be discovered in the Kuiper Belt and beyond. In fact, over the last two decades, astronomers have spotted dozens of large icy bodies beyond Neptune, known as Trans-Neptunian Objects, or TNOs. While many of these are small and oddly shaped, some, like Pluto, are big enough to qualify as dwarf planets. Others like Sedna, Gong Gong and Orcus are strong candidates but haven't been officially recognized yet. Each new discovery of a distant object adds another piece to the puzzle of our outer solar system. And that's what makes the recent detection of OF201 so fascinating. The discovery of OF201 wasn't a matter of simply pointing a telescope at the sky and spotting a new object. This distant world is so faint and far away that it was not even observed in real time. Instead, it was found through a clever bit of digital detective work. Finding hidden worlds in space takes advanced tools, and the same goes for exploring the web. That's where Opera Browser shines. It's designed for explorers, not of galaxies, but of information. When you're exploring the vast web, you don't have to sift through endless pages just to find what you need. Opera's built-in AI tool, ARIA, does the heavy lifting. It gives you instant, real-time answers and can even generate content tailored to your needs, all accessible through a quick keyboard shortcut. You can literally ask ARIA to perform actions, like converting all open tabs into bookmarks, and it just does it. You can ask ARIA to group your tabs by specific topics, for example, just tell it to group all my new tabs, and it does it in one click. And if you're someone who keeps dozens of tabs open, tab islands make life even easier. You can manually group your tabs by topic, like news, workspace, or social media, and expand or collapse them whenever you want a cleaner view. It's simple, 
organized, and incredibly efficient. Sometimes, though, you need to multitask. Maybe read two pages side by side while researching. With Opera's split screen feature, you can drag one tab downward and instantly view two pages together. No more constant switching back and forth. My personal favorite, the video pop-out feature. You can detach any video you're watching and move it anywhere on your screen, even outside the browser window. So, click the link in the description to download Opera for free and transform your browsing into a seamless experience. Now, back to space. A team of astronomers set out to search for hidden TNOs, icy bodies orbiting beyond Neptune. But rather than relying on new telescope time, they turned to a massive archive of old images collected over the years. Their key tool? A computer algorithm specially designed to scan for faint, slow-moving objects. They focused on data from two powerful observatories, the Victor M. Blanco 4-meter telescope in Chile and the Canada-France-Hawaii telescope in Hawaii. These telescopes had been imaging the sky for years, capturing countless snapshots filled with distant stars and faint solar system objects. Somewhere in this sea of pixels, the team hoped a hidden world might be waiting. And it was. The algorithm spotted a tiny, dim speck of light appearing in 19 separate images taken over 13 nights between 2011 and 2018. In each one, the object had moved slightly against the background of stars, exactly the kind of subtle shift expected from a distant body orbiting the sun. By connecting those movements across seven years, the team confirmed they were looking at the same object, a distant, icy world now designated 2017 OF201. You might be wondering why it has such a technical sounding name. That's because 2017 OF201 is a provisional designation, a temporary label given by the Minor Planet Center. It tells us the object was first observed in 2017, and the letters and numbers that follow indicate its discovery sequence among thousands of other objects spotted around the same time. Thanks to those 19 observations, the researchers were able to calculate the object's orbit with remarkable precision. In May 2025, the discovery was officially confirmed and announced through the Minor Planet Center which shared the details in an electronic circular, including the object's orbital parameters. Although it appears as nothing more than a faint dot in telescope images, astronomers have uncovered some fascinating details about this world, including its size, shape, and even its color. Based on current estimates, OF201 is roughly 700 kilometers in diameter, putting it in the same size class as known dwarf planets, like Ceres and Haumea. But how do scientists measure the size of something so far away? They can't observe it directly, so instead, they rely on the object's absolute magnitude or intrinsic brightness. Then, using a typical albedo, a measure of how much sunlight the object reflects, they calculate an estimated size. To put it simply, albedo is like a surface's shininess. An object with a high albedo reflects more sunlight and appears brighter, while one with a low albedo reflects less and looks darker. For OF201, astronomers assumed an albedo of 0.15 or 15%, which is fairly standard for icy bodies in the Kuiper belt. Based on this, they arrived at the 700-kilometer estimate However, if the object is darker than assumed, it could be even larger, and if it's shinier, it might be smaller, so 700 kilometers is considered a reasonable middle ground. At that size, it's very likely that the object's gravity has pulled it into a spherical shape, which is one of the key criteria for being classified as a dwarf planet under the current definition. But there's more. Even though it's so distant, Astronomers were able to determine that OF201 has a distinctly red color, similar to other far-off objects like Sedna. 
This reddish hue is a strong clue about its surface composition. It suggests the presence of complex organic molecules, known as tholins, which form when cosmic rays and sunlight interact with ices like methane and water over millions or even billions of years. In fact, many objects in the outer solar system share this reddish appearance. It's likely the result of long exposure to radiation, slowly transforming simple ices into darker, more complex substances. All of this paints a picture of OF201 as a cold, ancient world, coated in weathered, reddish material, and quietly orbiting the Sun on a timescale that stretches tens of thousands of years. What truly makes OF201 stand out from other distant objects is its extraordinarily stretched orbit. To understand just how unusual it is, consider this. The most distant known object so far is far, far out, a small icy rock about 400 kilometers wide, detected at a distance of 132 AU. That's 132 times the distance between the Earth and the Sun. Impressive, yes, but OF201 ventures much farther. This newly discovered world falls in orbit that takes it from a relatively close approach of about 45 AU, roughly the same distance as Pluto, all the way out to a mind-blowing 1600 AU at its farthest point. That's 1600 times farther from the Sun than Earth, deep into a region of space known as the Inner Oort Cloud, a vast mysterious shell of icy bodies that surrounds the outer edge of the solar system. This orbit shows that OF201 is not just a part of the Kuiper Belt, it grazes the outermost boundary of our cosmic neighborhood. On average, the object orbits the Sun at around 838 AU, but its path is so elongated that its eccentricity, a measure of how stretched an orbit is, is about 0.95. That puts 2017 OF201's orbit incredibly close to being open-ended, like a comet just barely held by the Sun's gravity. This extreme orbit means that the object spends almost all of its time far beyond the reach of even the most powerful telescopes. In fact, astronomers estimate that it has only been close enough to detect for about 1% of its 25,000-year journey around the Sun. The last time 2017 OF201 came relatively close to the Sun was in 1930, when it passed within 74 AU, or about 11 billion kilometers from Earth. This also happens to be the same year Pluto was discovered, an unexpected coincidence. Since then, the object has been drifting steadily outward and won't return to the inner solar system for another 25,000 years. As of now, it lies at a distance of about 90.5 AU, continuing its slow, cold journey through the outermost reaches of the Sun's influence. The discovery of this new dwarf planet candidate poses serious challenges to the Planet 9 hypothesis. Astronomers have been studying the orbits of TNOs for decades. While most of these objects follow a wide variety of orbits, they notice something unusual about a handful of the most distant TNOs. Their orbits are strangely similar. Instead of being randomly oriented as you might expect after billions of years of gravitational influences from the known planets, several of these faraway TNOs appear to be clustered. Their orbits are tilted in a similar way, and their closest points to the Sun, known as perihelia, tend to line up in the same region of space. This odd alignment suggests that something might be holding these orbits in place, preventing them from being scattered in all directions. To explain this unexpected clustering, scientists propose the existence of a yet undiscovered planet, often called Planet Nine. The idea is that Planet Nine's gravity could be influencing these distant TNOs, essentially shepherding them into their aligned orbits over long timescales. Think of it like this. 
Imagine leaves floating on a pond. Normally, you'd expect the wind and water currents to scatter them in all directions. But if you noticed a bunch of leaves drifting together in the same direction and forming a pattern, you'd probably suspect there's something beneath the surface, like a slow-moving current or a hidden drain, pulling them along. In this case, the distant TNOs are the leaves, and Planet 9 would be that hidden force beneath the surface, subtly tugging at them and keeping their orbits clustered together. But 2017 OF201 doesn't follow the trend. Its orbit is surprisingly flat, lying close to the same plane where most of the planets orbit the Sun. And more importantly, its direction isn't aligned with the other clustered TNOs that supposedly point to Planet 9's existence. This raises a big question. If Planet 9 really exists, why didn't it shape the orbit of 2017 OF201? Some astronomers now wonder if the clustering of orbits used to support the Planet 9 theory was just a coincidence, or if other forces might be at play. That said, the idea of Planet 9 isn't dead. In fact, a recent study analyzing old sky survey data reported what might be the first faint hint of this hidden planet's presence. So while 2017 OF201 challenges the neatness of the theory, it also underscores how much we still have to learn about the outer solar system. The search for Planet 9 is far from over. So if not Planet 9, what did shape the strange orbit of 2017 OF201? Astronomers think its current path could be the result of a series of gravitational encounters stretching back billions of years. One possible scenario is that, early in the solar system's history, 2017 OF201 passed too close to a giant planet like Neptune, which flung it outward into a much larger orbit. Later on, it might have been nudged again, perhaps by a passing star or even the gravitational influence of nearby stars when the Sun was still part of a dense star cluster in its youth. These small but powerful gravitational kicks could have stretched and twisted the object's orbit into what we see today, a wide, flat, elongated path. Rather than one dramatic event, 2017 OF201 may have experienced a bumpy, complex journey shaped by multiple forces over cosmic time. The discovery of OF201 is more than just the addition of a new icy world. It's a major clue in the ongoing quest to understand the outer reaches of our solar system. For a long time, astronomers believed that the space beyond the Kuiper Belt was largely empty until you reached the distant Oort Cloud. But objects like Sedna and now OF201 are proving that this vast region isn't a cosmic void after all. Instead, it may be home to a whole hidden population of large icy bodies moving on stretched out mysterious orbits. What makes OF201 especially remarkable is how close we came to missing it. It was only detected because, by chance, it happened to be near its closest approach to the Sun, something that occurs only briefly in its 25,000-year orbit. For the remaining 99% of its journey, it's simply too faint and far away to be seen with current telescopes. This raises an exciting possibility. There could be hundreds of other objects like it, quietly orbiting in the shadows, waiting to be discovered. In fact, astronomers estimate that the combined mass of these distant icy worlds might be equal to about 1% of Earth's mass a potentially significant piece of the puzzle when it comes to explaining the missing material from our early solar system. Looking to the future, the upcoming Vera C. Rubin Observatory is expected to find many more distant, slow-moving objects like this one. Each new discovery will bring fresh insights into the formation and evolution of the solar system and might even reshape what we think we know about its earliest days. So thanks for watching and thanks to Opera for sponsoring this video. Make sure to download Opera using the link in the description and discover a faster, safer, 
and smarter way to browse the internet.